Chad, if you haven't noticed by now, I have five shirts and I, I rotate them out daily. It's the same tropical shirts. All right, let's do this shit. Unload on me, Bungie. Without further ado, this is the beginning of the end. This is Lightfall. Yes. When they see this glorious end, We got a damn grapple hook! It's all here, it's all happening now. Things are finally coming to a head. Thematically, we, we really have been honing in on that kind of bombastic, big set piece approach. It's gonna be over the top action, adrenaline pumping, like the whole time. This is really kicking off the conclusion to the Light and Dark Saga, where we finally face down this foe that we've been anticipating it's facing for so long. It's pushing it to 11. And the witness is coming with its newly empowered disciple, Callus. Callus is really crash landing with a new and more powerful army than ever before. They've got new powers, they've got new armor, they've got tormentors to join their ranks that are gonna be bigger and better enemies than we've ever faced. Callus is taking that army that he's bringing with him to be the harbinger of the witness's doom. This is such a pivotal moment for Destiny. Everyone is coming to have a last stand with Callus and the Witness to really avoid the next collapse, something that we've been trying to avoid ever since Destiny 1. Still rocking Skyburners, just see that? <laughs> he gives him new we gear, but still Skyburner. We're headed to Neptune, and on Neptune, there's been this hidden city called Neomuna, where an alternate version of humanity has been blooming since the collapse. Neomuna is the capital city Holy of shit. Neptune. It's a giant metropolis that we were completely unaware existed until now. What's interesting and exciting to me about this place is that it's pristine, it's new. It's not like a lot of the places that we've explored previously in Destiny. Exploring that space is very, very cool. There's so much new stuff to discover in Neomuna and in Neptune. And also I saw some new characters there. I'm really excited to get to know Cloud Striders and their story. Cloud Striders can be compared to Guardians. They're both protectors of a civilization that's potentially under threat. But Guardians were chosen. It's their duty to Dude, protect they look humanity. So cool. Cloud Striders have chosen to protect their people. There's like an awesome opportunity for the Guardians to learn from the Cloud Striders and their way of living and their philosophy of life. So we've got the newness of that city, the newness of the Cloud Striders that we've never been aware of. And then of course you get a glimpse of this green energy. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Strand is the new darkness power that we discover here. Something that's unique about Strand, unlike any of these other powers we've ever had before, when you play through Lightfall, you are discovering this power for the first time. No one in the universe 
ever in the history of Destiny has used Strand before. This is the Guardian discovering darkness on their own and learning how to shape it and manipulate it and use it against Callus and his forces and, you know, have fun in the new urban environment of, of Neo Luna. You are really going to have to prepare yourself for a wild ride. Dude, the new area looks amazing though, guys. We want to give you the best Bungie action experience that we can create with the brand new Lightfall campaign. Lightfall is going to change the way that our players move, fight, and explore everywhere in Destiny. Neptune is this fantastic destination. The capital city of Neomuna is a really fun place to explore. And it's this bright neon metropolis. There's a harbor, office buildings, an arcade. This is a city that we've made, and using Strand to traverse through it and explore it, it's going to be so exciting. There's some places that once you whip out that grappling hook, we're gonna be fucking Spider-Man. to explore and get to places that you couldn't before. Look at that up there. I wonder if I can grapple to there. I'm gonna be a kid in a candy store. It's not a city that is collapsed. It is a city Love that has guy. lived through the collapse. Neptune now has to deal with the cloak being pulled back oh. and then being revealed to the world and are now central of the conflict. Callus has taken his capital ship and just like planted it right down in part of the city and it's cabal occupied territory. It's a city under siege. You've got this infiltrator vibe at times where you feel like a tactical team going into a skyscraper. You're dealing with cabal roadblocks and patrols all throughout the city. So it, these guys survived the, the collapse. Legion, they provide that like characteristic cabal brute strength. They're all about like volatility and power. And they've been enhanced now by pyramid technology. They have these suppression devices that can take away some of your super, take away some of your abilities. And then they fight alongside these terrifying new pyramid units called tormentors. Now these guys look so wicked. As part of so discipleship wicked. to the witness, Callus has been upgraded. And so the tormentors that they've brought in are these impossibly huge, unstoppable behemoths. They wield scythes. They can attack from a distance. They can bring you in close. They can drain your very life force from you. They are basically embodiments of terror. It's like a boss character within the battlefield. Your stomach drops. You're like, okay, I'm playing through. I'm having fun. I'm popping heads, doing this thing. And then boom, there it is. We've got all the new stuff going into the game. Strand, Tormentors, Shadow Legion, a cool new environment. These are all a great setting for a new legendary campaign. Everyone back in the studio is so hard at work on Lightfall, putting in the details and making this whole release come alive and continue to surprise and delight players. Dude, that grapple and PvP. I am so excited to get this out. Lightfall is unlike anything players have seen before in Destiny. And it's another step that sends you hurtling to the conclusion of the light and dark saga. Prepare for Titanfall. Holy shit. Come on. Amazing. I'm super excited to dive into Strand and talk about all the new stuff that we just saw. Strand, like Stasis, is a power from the darkness. Unlike our light abilities, which are all about creation, darkness is more about consciousness. Strand is psychic energy that forms this extra dimension, this sort of matrix that connects everything together, connects all living beings and all minds. And you, the Guardian, are sort of gaining the knowledge and gaining the power to peer into this alternate psychic universe and begin to pull at these threads and tug at these wires that are connecting all these living beings. That's interesting. When guardians learn how to use Strand, it's almost like this third eye opens up. It's about peeling back the curtain of reality, taking those connections and then weaving them into new objects. Yeah, and it's pretty cool to see them come together. Like, it's always been there. And now that we can tap into it, we can use it for our benefit, whether it's through movement or through damage. Strand has a grappling hook. Since you're seeing into this cosmic web, you are able to grapple at any point because the cosmic web exists everywhere. Even if there's not an object there, it will hook on to that web. It almost looks forward. buggy. It's just taking that idea to the next level, yeah. putting that uh, that destiny, destiny spin, spin on it. Yep. 
The grappling hook initially started as part of the hunter's kit, right? They're all about fluid movement, rapidly traversing space and being very agile. But as we were developing, it's like, oh man, it's this feels like it's too much fun to, to just keep it to one class, right? So we made the call to expand the super cool new ability across all three classes. Dude, the jump puzzles, the jump puzzles this year are gonna be insane. On the design side, we wanted to come up with how each of the classes it's for all three. did this additional psychic dimension, like in their own way, right? So the Warlock, they're the telekinetic master of Strand. So they're going to be able to telepathically reach into the Strand dimension, pull matter out, and weave it into this big barrage of these Strand missiles. Wherever they land, these missiles are actually going to unravel, sort of reweave themselves into a new form. With the Titan, you're able to weave these claws and do an area of damage around you, spinning and slashing. The super I think I'm most excited for is the Hunter Rope Dart super. The Hunter does a flip and weaves these strands into this rope dart and is swinging it as they're kind of moving around. The first time I saw that, even in its kind of like rough state, it just blew my mind. LFX with a 50, thank you so much, brother. We've learned a lot from creating our other subclasses and we've taken those learnings about combat, about movement, about build crafting. We put that all into Strand and I'm so excited to see where players take it once it's out there in the wild. Just some tracking, some shatter dive. That suspends enemies. Dude, the Titan Super almost looks like a Hunter Super. Destiny is a game that gets even better when you play with your friends. It should be easier to create custom, incredible builds. Easier to find people to play with. Easier to swap from being that boss melting, storm chaser wielding, falling star juggernaut, right into that ultimate yeehawing, dead man's tail shooting, Titan's rampart crutching sentinel. And if none of what Joe just said makes sense to you, we want to fix that too. Because it's not about removing the depth that makes Destiny so great. In game LFG, it's baby, you ready? allowing everyone to dive deeper with ease. The changes we're making to make Destiny easier to come into, changes to how you build your characters, changes to how you see what there is to do and what there is to accomplish. And in the year ahead, we're actually making it easier to form groups in Destiny so you can go and do some of the greatest content that Destiny has to offer. All the teams are working together to build this experience, and so that's what's really exciting. We keep on hearing from players like, hey, unless I have a friend to play with, I don't know what to do. And so what we're trying to give them is like, hey, here's a path to follow. Guardian ranks are this, like, this basically a, like a knowledge ladder. We actually progress you through 11 ranks. And it's really like heavily focusing on like exposing players to all the systems of destiny. A lot of people have groups that they already play with, but this will really provide people the opportunity to be right, recognized hold on, hold on. for helping other people learn the game, but also provide more people to play with on a regular basis. In the year of Lightfall, we're going to actually be investing in building a looking for group system in Destiny itself. You'll be able to look for other players. You'll be able to find groups that are looking for players. I'm so excited about being able to form groups in the next coming year because it can be really hard to get through some of the hard content solo and making it so much okay. easier to find Woo! people to play with. I thought they were rather be like, yo, it's just Guardian ranks. You're not getting awesome in-game LFG. So Holy hell. Easier. Yeah, and they'll be able to say, this is a player who I can trust to lead me through the new raid. I want to join their group. Or they can say, these are players who are new to the activity. I want to take them for that first raid because that'll be a great experience for them and a valuable experience for me as a leader. So commendations is a feature that you'll yes! experience towards the end of an activity. So you end the activity now and you get to see the screen that has all the people you played with. You can click on one of the guardians and choose what experience you had with them. So like, were they a good team player? Were they fun to play with? There's no better way to actually show how- Is this an MMO? A teammate or as a leader than to have other players say, this person's a great teammate, this person's a great leader. It's really a, a system that's designed to let players show appreciation for each other. 
Also using the commendation system, people are going to be able to say like, hey, this person as a good leader and, and looking at the guardian rank system, they have a lot of experience. It's gonna be, oh, that's the person I want to help me get through this hard content that I've been struggling with. Both the loadout screen and the mod manager are completely new features. The mod manager is meant to make build construction destiny a lot easier. We all love our fashion game. The fashion game's amazing. And so we're gonna take what we did for the fashion game and we're bringing it to the build craft game. There's gonna be one screen where you can go to and do your entire loadout for your character. It's gonna be amazing. So you'll be able to save the build that you've put together as a loadout and then switch between those things as you're going from activity to activity. Yeah, I feel like with the new release That's Destiny so many loadout mods. the accommodation system mixed with Guardian ranks, we're giving players even new aspirations. It isn't going to be just about power level. It won't just be about gear. It's also going to be about that Guardian rank. It's going to be about those commendations. It's all the ways that we're bringing players together. Holy shit. We've been asking for this for so long. Today, we are also launching a brand new season of Destiny 2. And as we've evolved our seasons over the years, we've learned a lot. And I think we've been able to deliver some amazing character moments and events for the community. Eremis has broken free. Yeah. The old crew is now really under her command. Yeah. I've read about them. The, what is the human word? Pirates. <laughs> Vanguard should be rallied to deal with these outlaws. Well, thank us away. Now go show those pirates what happens when they cross Spiderhead. Yo, Spider back in business. Okay, okay. Super. Yo, the gear. What is that? The fusion? You got the goods, Guardian. A little swept up in all this adventure. Yo, yo, the pirate theme, man. This season, we said, what if we just go to the stars and dig up buried treasure? We are unearthing a lot of mysteries and secrets. We're swashbuckling onto enemy spaceships. And then we're also learning a lot of things about some of our favorite characters. We're gonna have an adventure this season. Season of Plunder kicks off with Aramis being freed from her icy prison. She's collected old fallen crews of pirates and rogue cabal together in order to hunt down mysterious relics and treasures. It's time to meet your end. So guardians are tasked with stopping Aramis from collecting these relics. And in order to do that, you have to create your own crew of shady dealers and backroom brokers. Drifter, Mithrax, Ido, and Spider are going to be helping you. Anchors away. Ready when you are, Captain. That's the beginning of Season of Plunder. What you're going to be doing is forming a pirate crew of your own. You're going to fill it with different crew members that you can recruit over the course of the season. Drifter is going to toss you the keys to your personal catch. Then you're just going to set out into the stars and do cool pirate stuff. One of the mainstays of this season is a new six player offensive called Catch Crash. When I saw the concept for the catch with the big main sails on it, I just said, oh my God, this is gonna be a fun season. Just like seeing Catch Crash through the different iterations, like fighting on the deck of the ship. You get to become your own ammunition and launch yourself from a cannon to the other ship. And you are the weapon, so <laughs> you're gonna go mess them up. 
And then our final new activity coming this season is what we're calling Pirate Hideouts. We have so many like different little maps that you can piece together fragments of this season. And Holy shit. And they you to the lair of the Pirate Lord, right? Their hideout. These are their, their caves where they're hoarding all of their amazing treasures and their mysterious relics. These relics are mysterious objects of dark power and they're all over the system. We don't know exactly what it is they do yet, but if Aramis is trying to collect them, it's nothing good. A flintlock pistol, we have an exotic fusion rifle that plays different than fusion rifles you've ever seen before. It's just like end to end, just really leaning into that spirit of like the pirate adventure. And let's also make it so that new players coming Perfect in for this can game. actually jump in and get started. The gift of the Thunder Gods is a starter kit. It's a set of armor, it's a Thunderlord exotic weapon. So jump in, join your friends, set sail, become the captain, and build your crew today in Destiny. Perk is a damage type that's about proximity, right? It's about going fast up into your enemy's faces and like deleting them. It's the, the damage type for people that want to hold W. You don't want to retreat. Unbridled aggression to the max. So we're going to give our Hunter a new super. Uh, we call it Gathering Storm, where you summon your arc staff, like twirl it above your head, and then launch it out and then it will embed into the ground or into like bosses or mini bosses or champions and jolt them. Like a big lightning strike will strike the staff and Holy overcharge shit. it. And while that staff is overcharged, it'll start Tesla coiling Ooh, little the lightning bolts out at nearby enemies. Warlock is kind of this elemental conduit. You are a class that will turn yourself into lightning. You will create things out of lightning. Previously, you know, we had this exotic armor piece called Getaway Artist where you consume your grenade and it'll make a, a what we call a sentient arc soul that fires faster uh, and, and does more damage as a result. So we decided to roll that into base arc soul behavior. Anytime you're amplified, any arc soul you have from any source will become the supercharged version yeah. that will fire off just rapid fire bolts. Titan's about being this unstoppable freight train. It's about this constant movement. So we gave Titans a new movement option something that we felt like is gonna be competitive in this new environment of air dodges and air slams. That's a new ability called thruster. And it's all in first person. It's all very much in the heat of the moment you see it happen. Its whole property is like rush down or get away. It's a movement tool to the max. There's gonna be this new melee ability called thunderclap, which is like an amazing thing where he like charges his fist all super flashy. It's our first ever charge melee. So you hold down the button and as that cocks back and charges up, you'll end up doing more damage and getting a little bit more range. And speaking of like the whole goal of deleting things, I believe in PVP, a full charge is a one shot kill. It is, oh yeah. It's, it's a little skillful to like pull off because you're gonna have to really read your opponent here. The whole through line with Ark is like, it really isn't that complicated. It's move fast, hit hard, and stay alive. So we got Thunder Crash. There it is. There it is! <laughs> oh, we're going to bone this raid. Oh my God, this is going to look amazing. So we've shown you Lightfall. We've shown you the new damage type, Strand. We've shown you some of the deeper changes to the game that we're gonna be making throughout the next year. But we have one more thing that we are excited to announce today. Destiny is coming to the Epic Game Store today. Epic has been an absolutely fabulous partner to work with. They love Destiny. And we are just huge fans of what they've been doing in the social game space. When we first started working with Epic, we sat down and talked about the impact that their games have had on us. And they had a bunch of the same stories for us. They shared stories about playing the Vault of Glass and how much they enjoy the social experiences in Destiny. And I got to talk about the summer of Fortnite Chapter One, Season Five, when my whole family was laser focused 
taking turns on the island to unlock Drift. In addition to launching all of Destiny 2 on the Epic Game Store today, for the next week, if you download the game on Epic, we will give you the 30th anniversary for free. If you haven't earned your Gallahorn yet, or you haven't played the Grasp Dungeon, come to the Epic Game Store and you can jump in for free. We want to welcome all these new guardians with a celebration, one that stretches a little further than the last city. Oh my God, no, they did it. <laughs> All right. We've also been working on the Destiny engine behind the scenes, preparing our technology and our game to last for many many years to come. Because Destiny 2 is not going anywhere, and neither are your expansions. We want this story, since we first communed with the That's darkness good. on the moon, to be fully playable, start to finish. And we're happy to announce today that we are not planning to sunset any yes! more expansions. We want the Destiny universe to grow, and we're gonna continue to do everything that we can behind Goodbye, the scenes DCV. to keep that possible. You will not damage. be missed. But enough about the distant future. Let's talk about today, the best day all year to jump into Destiny. Yes, because if you're looking to catch up, right now, all expansions are free to play for this entire week on every wow. platform for everyone. Right now, Season of Plunder is live, and the Helms get a set of supercharged art gear for anyone looking to catch up on the fun. Destiny is live on the Epic Game Store. You can download it for free, and you can get the 30th anniversary pack as your welcome gift. And if you liked what you saw about the future, right now, pre-orders for Lightfall are live on all platforms. That's huge. And anyone who purchases the annual pass gets the exotic auto rifle Quicksilver Storm today. Today is a perfect day to play Destiny. So we'll see you in game. All right. Oh, we got to watch this. this glorious end. They will come for us. I've read about them. The, what is the human word? Pirates. Yo, this collab, brother. This crossover. Slap that like button like your mama told you right. <laughs>